Health professionals avoid calling it juvenile diabetes, but type 1 diabetes used to go by that name because it's most likely to occur in the young. Type 1 diabetes is usually a diabetes of childhood onset. The majority of type 1 diabetics are below age 20. The disease follows two classic timelines. It's commonly diagnosed either between ages 5 and 7 or during adolescence. Unlike type 2, it's not linked to lifestyle or eating habits. One of the biggest myths is that sugar. Eating sweets can cause type 1 diabetes. That is not true. Type 1 diabetes is an immune-based disease. It's where the body does not recognize the pancreatic cells as being part of the body. A child with diabetes will face additional obstacles. Because their pancreas doesn't work at all, they'll have to monitor their blood sugar and take insulin. But it doesn't mean they have to sit on the sidelines of life. We try to preserve as much as possible all the things they cherished and loved about being a youth or a teenager or a toddler, preschool child. We can adjust insulin according to the activity level of the child. And ultimately the goal is one day we'll have a pancreas uh, made artificially that can work as very close to what the normal pancreas was doing. Kids do well with new technology and benefit from being open and honest. We try to encourage the children to feel like it's okay that I have diabetes. It's okay to say I'm taking a medicine called insulin. This device is called an insulin pump. A lot is going on in terms of research, giving hope to kids growing up with type 1 diabetes. There's been a lot on the artificial closed loop system where the insulin delivery device can adjust insulin according to the body's need. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.